Oh my God. A guy wrote to Dear Prudence for help saying his boyfriend is obsessed with a pop star to the point where he brings this pop star into every single conversation they have. <laughs> These are adults we're talking about here. What <laughs> would you do like in this situation? Uh, I'm, I'm anti um, being obsessed with celebrities because the only difference between us, regular normies and celebrities, is that one of them can sing really well or strum a guitar or recite lines. They are regular people. So I know that me and this person would never make it past the first date. If you are so obsessed with this other person because of what they yeah. do, I think it's a very strange thing. It also feels a little juvenile to me. Yeah. Like there's an age for that. Like when I was. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. If you have posters and stuff and this is all you talk about, this is not a person you know. I think it's a very did strange you ever, thing. Like, yeah, did you ever obsess with about no, something? No, like, I prefer a phase. I mm. love going through a phase, but okay. a full-blown obsession. And even, like, I don't know if you guys have friends or know people, like, their obsession becomes everything about them. Like, like religion. someone starts collecting salt and pepper shakers, and before you know it, they're a hoarder, and their whole house is like, so, and they could be cow-themed or horse-themed, and then everything is just, that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's bringing you joy? Yeah. I, 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 but it is juvenile. It's bringing them joy, but if it's, if it's affecting the relationship to the point where you can't get in the door because of all the salt, salt and pepper, pepper shakers, shakers, you know, like, <laughs> then that's like... That's... Yeah, I, I do think it's also really, really juvenile, and I do think mm. if you're putting that much attention on somebody else, what attention are you giving me? Yeah. yeah that's interesting. Like, yeah. that's a lot of energy <laughs> and a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. It feels like there's, I don't know, like, even, you know, everyone maybe has had a, a person they adored, a musician they kind of obsessed with, whether or not they were younger when they did it. I do feel like there's something, though, with social media. Like, back in the day when I obsessed over Prince, I couldn't follow his every move yeah. Yeah. on social media. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, a different, it's like we're creating the monster because of the addictive cycle of social media. So mm -hmm. in a way, I like, obviously, I wouldn't want to date this guy, and I understand why this seems weird, but... I feel like it's not entirely his fault. Like, I think that there's something going on in the culture right now that's making people a bit more obsessed. The algorithm. The yeah. algorithm. Yeah. That's what we blame it us. on. Right? Yeah. The yeah. algorithm. Yeah. I mean, except for Swifties, because just you keep doing you. Yeah. Yeah. See? That was amazing. Nice. I understand that obsession completely. I really, really do. Let's hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.